All objects falling due to the force of gravity accelerate at a constant rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. As long as friction is negligible, mass has a very small effect on how an object falls. Once an object is dropped, it moves in an entirely predictable way. Its position and velocity at every moment in time can be calculated using a small number of equations. In this presentation, you will learn how to solve free fall word problems. The acceleration due to gravity is a vector, so it has magnitude and direction. It has the same direction as the force of gravity, down. When an object is dropped, we make the direction down positive, so the acceleration due to gravity is positive 9.8 meters per second squared. Furthermore, when an object is dropped, the initial velocity is 0 meters per second. If we have a free fall problem where the object is ascending, it's useful to make the direction down negative, which makes the acceleration due to gravity negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now we are going to apply what you've learned by solving some free fall word problems. A coin is dropped in a vacuum tube. Find its displacement after 0 0.30 seconds. The first step to solving this problem is to read and underline all the important terms and numbers that will help you find the unknown. As you will see in the next slide, the word dropped gives us two important pieces of information. It is also important to underline the unknown. The unknown is the motion variable you are trying to find. In this case, it is the coin's displacement. Step two is to turn all your information into variables. Since the object is dropped, the initial velocity is zero, and the acceleration is positive 9.8 meters per second squared. We are looking for the displacement, so we write d equals question mark, and we were told that the time is 0 0.30 seconds. Once we have all four variables, we slowly scan the reference table until we find an equation that has all three variables that we have and the one variable that we want. This is the fourth equation. Notice that we substitute our data into the equation with units. After that, we answer with units. Example two, a coin is dropped in a vacuum tube. Find the coin's velocity after 0 0.30 seconds. Step one is to underline the important terms and numbers. Step two is to turn our info into variables. Step three is to find the equation that fits your four variables. The equation that fits starts with the unknown, but that's not always the case. This is the substitution with units. When you accelerate at a rate of positive 9.8 meters per second squared for just 0.3 seconds, you will only reach a velocity of 2.9 meters per second down. Example three, a rocket is fired vertically upward with an initial velocity of 29 meters per second. Find the rocket's maximum altitude. The last two problems we did involved a ro an object dropped, but this one involves an object sent upward. Whenever you see that a problem mentions an object reaching its maximum altitude or peak, you know that its final velocity equals zero. Since the rocket moves upward, we make the direction down negative, so now the acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Once we have isolated our data and unknown, we scan the equation list on our reference table until we find an equation that has all four of our variables. Here is the substitution with units and answer with units. The rocket will travel 43 meters upward which is just under half the length of a football field. Example four, an object dropped on planet X falls 64 meters in four seconds. Find the acceleration due to gravity on planet X. Step one is to underline all the important words and numbers that will help us find an equation. Since we see the word drop, we know that the initial velocity is zero. When we scan the equation sheet to find one that matches the four variables that we have, we see that the fourth equation fits. 
Notice, notice that it doesn't begin with the unknown, which is acceleration. Don't let that throw you off. The equation doesn't have to start with the unknown variable. Here is the substitution with units to find the acceleration. In the last step, we must divide both sides of the equation by 8 to isolate the unknown. When solving freefall problems, remember that when an object is dropped, the initial velocity equals 0 and the acceleration is positive 9.8 meters per second squared. When an object is ascending, the peak velocity equals 0 and the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. This is the end of my presentation on solving freefall problems.